Hello, beautiful soul. I don't think very many people know this, but in July, before I flew to the United States, I had some goddess time with two of my dear friends, Dr. Jill Stalker and Soul Whitefire. And I had the opportunity to go on a shamanic journey with plant medicine. And during this journey, it was kind of weird <laughs> because the majority of the time I was speaking French. Okay, maybe that's not weird. I live in France, I've lived here for 11 years. But what was interesting is that I connected with the soul of my mother during this journey. And I was speaking to her in French. And I should say that I remember so clearly the very first time I heard someone speaking French, it was my mom and my brother, Tony. I was like 10 years old. And I remember it being like music to my ears. I felt drawn to it. So as soon as it was offered in, I guess, middle school, that's when I started taking French. So it was kind of interesting to me that during this plant medicine journey with um, psilocybin, you know, magic mushrooms, I connected with my mom and we were speaking French. And I could feel that she was waiting for me. Now you probably know that she just passed away a week and a half ago. And when I got to see her in July, I was amazed that she had held on as long as she has after you know years of Alzheimer's and then a stroke last year. But I truly believe that she was waiting for me, that she waited for me to be there so that I could say my goodbyes because when they first uh, diagnosed her with the stroke, they said that she wasn't going to live beyond a few days. And it's been very complicated with COVID and flying out of France because France has been on the naughty list with really bad COVID cases. So I was really um, quite blessed to get there in July and to be able to be by her side and say my goodbyes. So this whole idea of, you know, what is consciousness and where is mom now? The one thing I will say about this journey with psilocybin, with mushrooms, I mean, because it was not made in a lab, with, you know, magic mushrooms, it's this concept of being able to connect with the collective unconscious, with God, with all that is, you know, every psychedelic experience I've had, I've connected with my mother from the very first journey that I took with ayahuasca in 2017 in Peru, um, to my mushroom journeys as well. It's like I've been able to just connect with her. And of course, I haven't had those conversations for the last five, six years because of her dementia. So I'm able to feel like this sense of connection, like she's not gone. Her essence, her energy, her spirit is still very much alive. And I feel like I can... I mean, I feel like I've actually had some conversations with her since, like she feels so near. And I know that some people say that even without the psychedelics, but for me, that has been like reassuring. And I've had some interesting dreams <laughs> and I've talked to some of my spiritual friends and they all say, your mom is still guiding you. She's still present. She is, you know, moved into a different realm and a different space in terms of her guidance and the the healing, the love, the forgiveness, all of that is complete. And now we have a whole new dimension to our relationship. So I don't know if that sounds weird to you, but for me, it's been very comforting. And I feel, I feel the joy. I feel the joy that I remember in, you know, various moments throughout her life. And, and that for me is just precious. So tell me what you're up to these days. Would you ever try psychedelics? I mean, did you know that psychedelics, everything from MDMA, which is not technically in the same type of class, but MDMA, magic mushrooms or psilocybin, DMT, what's found in ayahuasca, ibogaine, and even ketamine, which you can get from some doctor's offices. These are medications that have been shown to help people with depression, treatment resistant depression, anxiety, PTSD, and especially people who are facing the end of life. And 
it reduces fear and anxiety about death because it helps us recognize that we are one. Does that sound crazy? Well, over the next several months, you'll be hearing more about that from me as I dive into the study of psychedelic assisted therapy. It is an added element to my treatment regimen and it's not for everyone, but I will be sharing what it's good for, what the clinical studies show and what's happening with the FDA. So if you've had an experience, I'd love to hear about it. Do you have a connection with a loved one who has gone beyond? Do you see signs like a butterfly or a certain message that you know is coming from someone beyond? Let me know. I'd love to hear it. Much love.